Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We are jumping in again and we are playing as pure Maggie. We did a few of the other pure characters, but the pure character mod just got a pretty big update overhauling some of the characters, doing some balance changes. So I thought we'd check them out again. And this time we're going as Maggie. This is a very interesting version of Maggie. Basically, it's all about charming enemies and healing them. Uh, we can use our health to throw this heart, uh, Maggie's heart, at enemies to charm them. And then if we take damage, we heal them. We can also hold more HP. So a pretty interesting idea. I do just have to um, preface this episode by saying I have been... Okay, it fires in the direction we're walking, I see. Um, it's kind of hard to aim. I thought it'd be faster. But there you go. Okay, so we've, we've charmed that guy now. Um, so yeah, I just have to preface this episode by saying that I have been extremely ill for the past week. Like, I have been bedridden and I am still... Not not okay. <laughs> I'm still definitely a bit ill. Also, this is an awful room to get right off the bat. This is for having such low damage. This is a really gross room to get this early on. Um, this, this is uh, this is gonna take some doing. Oh, dude, the fact that it throws it in the direction you're walking and not like a shooting aiming thing is that's awful. Also, I'm so glad I died there. That room was gross. Thank you for uh, thank you for getting me out of that room. Um, so for example, with this guy. There we go, we got him, we got him. It's a good enemy to have, because this guy can just break rocks for us. And he summons stuff, which will also be charmed. So, very good enemy for us to have, I think. And um, I think this guy will help quite a bit. And yeah, we can just kind of guide him around rooms and let him destroy stuff for us, which is really, really nice. Although, I don't think he'll be able to destroy um, secret room walls for us. But this, as you can clearly see already, is good. And we can heal him by taking damage. And as well, as you just saw, enemies do sometimes drop health on dying. You can see there's some random half red hearts dotted about on occasion there, which is really nice for us. Okay, good. Good stuff. Oh, Siren's Call as well. Quite fitting. Uh, on taking damage, we gain a familiar, and we also just gain a familiar for picking it up as well. So, pretty good item to get with this. I think it's kind of fitting. Dude, this is such a good guy to uh, have around with us. Kind of makes it hard to charm new things, though. Let's let him dart around a little bit and try and destroy these pots for us. He'll get to them eventually. There you go. You can get him. You can get him. Okay, I'm not going to wait too long. I do want a key to get to this library as well, if we can. Managed to charm that guy, although he died instantly. Apparently, my little my little uh, flies here are um, also uh, damaging my charmed enemies that aren't this guy, apparently. So that's not ideal. Are we really not going to get a key here? Dude, this is wild. <laughs> what a great start. Okay, here's our key. Here's our key. Let's go do this other room first. Why not? I did manage to try and charm someone there, but I didn't quite get it. Go, 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 little fellas. And another key. Beautiful. Oh my god. This, the swarm that we have created here. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Now, I do believe we can't have soul hearts or black hearts as this character either. This is all we need, apparently. And Botfly, we are getting a lot of familiars going on here. So this run is uh, really coming together. BFF would uh, would beef it up somewhat. But yes, I do apologize for my energy is a bit low for this episode. I am still a bit ill, but I have run out of backlog and you guys deserve your content. Um, so what, what you got here? Poopopedia, on use, play can fire. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Um, and then we've got plus five keys, consume one key pair. Use drops the content of a random chest. Oh, interesting. Um, oh, there you go. Okay. Ah, so I use it, wait, I use it once? Okay, I've got to use it twice each time to, okay, so sometimes it just doesn't pay out, I, I guess. Sometimes it just doesn't pay out. God damn, the amount of flies that it's summoned is uh, kind of crazy. Right. The uh, the sound of the flies is uh, is deafening. No, no, you killed my best friend. <laughs> oh, we can't have soul hearts. Okay, we just can't have black hearts. I think it is. You killed my best friend. So what happens if I charm a boss with this? Then, if I can manage to do that. Okay, I can't manage to do that. Oh my lord. 
dude, it's so hard to get used to the fact that it fires in the direction I'm walking. Also, I managed to charm that rat there rather than the boss. Not my best work. Let's use the shroom thing more. It seems pretty good. Gotta hold fire, I guess. Stop moving, dude. There you go, I got him. Okay, so it does actually charm them. Obviously, not super useful when the boss is just on his own, but he will kill his own minions for us, which is nice. But I'm so upset that I lost my boy. I did gain some HP. I lost some damage. I gained some fire rate. Honestly, I'm willing to go for this. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. And I'll play the hell out of this. Why not? Okay. I gambled hard. I gambled very hard. Not sure if it was the wisest of choices. We're going to go to the next floor. My hope is here that I can just gain back a lot of the HP from killing enemies. Because I'll get the random chance for red hearts when I kill enemies. Dude, you need to... You need to go, Mr. Sponge. that not it? Oh, the sponge guy's still alive. Why? Uh, how? My damage is so abysmal. Extra bomb here is rather nice. Need to make the correct choices for my uh, my charms, but honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to beat that first floor one. That one was, uh, was pretty epic. Luckily, we have the shroom face thing that's helping us out with some uh, damage concerns that we have right now. This is kind of wild run. Unfortunately, the red heart drops are not really coming in as fast as I would have hoped. Also, these enemies? No. Don't make me fight these enemies. These enemies are awful. Hey, we got a mini Isaac out of that, apparently. And a lot of fires and a little ghosty boy. Yeah, these, these enemies are uh, just impossible to fight. They just keep jumping and don't ever stay still, so you can just never actually hit them. There you go. Finally. They are very frustrating to fight. So luckily I have a lot of protection here. I can kind of just sit here and uh, hide behind my... Uh, hide behind my little coffins, I think. And be relatively safe. With my meager 2.17 damage. Lovely. I really thought I'd get my health back a lot faster than this. This is a uh, the slow play, the long con. Not being able to use my Maggie's heart is uh, not my wisest decision. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Some reflection glitches going on at the minute as well. I want to get more keys so I can start popping my uh, my book more often. How exactly does the book work? Because I'm still a bit confused about that. Consumes one key pair used, drops the uh, contents of a random chest, possible chests and nothing. Okay, so I just got really unlucky with the possible nothing rewards. I got possible nothing like four or five times in a row. I'm guessing it is a higher chance at nothing though, to be fair. Beautiful. Having these things to crack open is really nice. We get the fires and then we get some little friends, which I can't remember. Do they carry between rooms with us? Yes, they do. Um, I will buy a soul heart. I was really hoping there'd be a red heart in here. I'll be honest, but I'll buy a soul heart just to keep myself a little more healthy. But I was really hoping to have something I could spend with my Maggie's heart. I don't think I can spend soul hearts, but I also don't really want to, even if I can. <laughs> I feel like that's a big risk. Hey, we got... I think that was a red chest there. It's a cool way to gamble keys. I like the fact that it's not charged. It's just however many keys you've got. I think that the potential chance of that being, uh, of that having a decent payout is not bad. I really, really like these, uh, these coffin things here, because I can, I can very much just sit behind them and let, let the game do its thing. Because I, th then they'll break and give me stuff, and it's, it's gonna keep me safe. It's really nice. I apologize as well if I do some sniveling. I know some people really 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 hate that i very much apologize there is basically nothing i could do about it you either have some content with some sniveling or you have no content at all because i have nothing backlogged um 
my my bad. I, to be fair though, normally when I get ill, I, I only get ill for like two or three days. This has knocked me for a loop. I've been ill for like nearly a week now, uh, which is unusual for me. Um, boom. Damn it. The nothing payout must be a pretty high chance. Um, yeah, I've been ill for like a week now. and it's, it, I'm definitely better than I was. I'm not bedridden anymore, but I'm still not good. Right. Good. I'm really liking all these little friends we're getting along the way. They're helping out. Ooh, hello. Um, shoot an ice tier, but every new use after it freezes you. Whoa. Whoa. That's kind of cool. I mean, I'm still going to stick with this, uh, the, the Grimora, Gr Grimor, whatever it's called. I think this is just more interesting, but that's a cool item. I forgot we have the chocolate mod still installed. Stay away from me. I have very little health to give. Oh my god, it's a red heart. Oh my god. Our whole life has changed. Now we can actually start charming things again. Which would be pretty nice. If we can find the right things to charm. These are not said right things. Stay inside my, uh, my little coffins. Another red heart, my god. I'll try and pause as well if I need to do a big snivel or cough, which I'm about to do right now. Just have to clear my throat. I'll try to avoid you guys having to hear any of that. You can probably hear I'm a little bit stuffy. I don't know, I'm in, I'm in a weird spot with YouTube at the minute, I've got to say. I'm like, I think it's just because there's a, there's a few games out at the minute that I'm really like wanting to play. Um, and then like during the day I've been a lot more, like a lot busier with work than typical. So, I'm like, I really i am not as motivated to make content as I normally am, which is not ideal. But that comes and goes. I feel like I've, I always have it. I do, to be fair, I really do need to start playing some new games. I, I spoke about that on a previous episode. I think just playing Isaac and Nuclear Throne is burning me out quite heavily, just because I'm not adding a variety. But my, my concern is, I don't know when to upload stuff, because... I don't really want to lower the amount of eyes like I do, because I know that's a staple of my channel that a lot of people are here for specifically. And I also don't really want to lower Nuclear Throne, because I've really enjoyed Nuclear Throne, and again, it's a staple of the channel. But then, I also don't want to start making more videos that I'm making right now, because that will take a lot more time. So I'm going to have to swap out either some uh, Isaacs or some Nuclear Thrones for other games. And I'm just not sure when is the best time to do that without upsetting people that are really looking for those specific videos. I don't know. It's it's a hard balance to find. Oh, dude, we've got a, a dirty heart as well. Boiled, soiled heart, is it called? Either way, this heart's going to be very good. Mod dips. Stuff like that. One second. All right, let's keep this a rolling. So far, I'm enjoying this character, though. We've managed to find a, a build that leans itself quite heavily towards what we're doing here. And I enjoy that quite a bit. Unfortunately, yeah, the charmed enemy side of things isn't going to be anywhere near as good as it started off as. Um, although, I will say playing with Fiend Folio does give us a higher chance. Does give us a higher chance of getting better stuff. Also, we can just kind of chill here, which is kind of nice. Let our coffins break. Let the fires do some good work. Do a lot of good work, actually, goddamn. They give me holy protection. Hey, easy fight. And we get booster pack, which is not really what I was looking for, but we could get something good in here. Um, we got ourselves this, which is very nice. We got ourselves uh, cursed pennies. Oh my god, we got another one of those for next floor. Um, convert all rocks poops in the room into pennies. Okay, that's good. We can do that on the, this floor. Okay, so f first things first, take this and go to the shop and try and get a good devil deal out of the shop. Then we come back with the rock one and convert a bunch of rocks into money. And then we take the other uh, mantle and eternal heart card to the next floor. That's, that's my plan here. So we do this. We see what we get. Unfortunately, a whole bag of dicks. Um, now we come back over here. Unfortunately, our speed is pretty abysmal, so this, uh, this, this whole back-and-forth shenanigan is taking us some sweet, sweet time. And we have to look for a room that's appropriate. 
for uh, for this. We need uh, we need to find a room that has a lot and a lot of rocks, but preferably one that has a lot of rocks very close together, um, so that we can take advantage of and run through all the money as quickly as possible. Because we have low speed here, so we can't be having rooms where everything's spread apart, really. Oh, dude, our rooms are, uh, are not fit for purpose here at all, are they? Oh, come on, where's all the rocks? Where's all the rocks? Dude! Where are the rocks at? Here we go, here we go. Queen of Diamonds. Not the best, because our speed was low, but that is still a lot more money than we had otherwise, so... For a card that I wouldn't have been able to take to the next floor with me anyways. So I'm going to call that a win. <clears throat> I'm going to call that a win. Uh, but yeah, as I, as I said, even though I know they might not get the best views, I really want to introduce Peglin back into the channel. I thoroughly enjoy recording Peglin. It's just a really good game. Um, I, I want to do some new games, like, I mean, Dead Estate's not really new, but new update. Uh, Tiny Rogues is one I've heard people wanting to see. I personally have tried it before, and I wasn't all that impressed. Um, but it was a long time ago before I had a lot of content, and I, I think it's probably a lot better now. I think it's had two, maybe even three major updates since when I last tried it, so I'd be down to, uh, be down to give that a go as well. Um, and some, some people in the comments of one of the previous episodes... All right, then. All right, then. Well, I'm going to leave the rest of that there for when I start spending some money, but that was uh, unexpected. Do you know what, actually? Pyaw. No, that's not what I meant to do. I used my book instead of my Mackie's heart by accident. I'm stupid. There you go. That's what I wanted to do. Charm you up. Charming you up now. It's also nice because it's like an insta-kill of an enemy in the room. Is useful. I don't even know what charming one of these things would do, but I'm actually really curious to find out. It makes things explosive. Is it going to do that to all the enemies and make my life a living hell? It most certainly seems that way. <laughs> actually, it's kind of useful in a way. Okay, no. He just committed suicide. <laughs> Oh, dude, why is it not the direction you're shooting? Why is it the direction you're walking? That's such a horrible way to do it. Uh, I don't like that at all. Oh, now I, I need key. Ooh, we got a holy dip. This changes so much for us. Basically, stay in the radius of a holy dip and we can kill anything. Also, this guy needs to be charmed. There you go, we got him. Hibbity, hibbity hop. The don't stop. I need keys, game. I need keys. But also do with some red hearts too. That would be delightful. Don't you dare kill my holy dear. There's a key. I would also like another key. We have so many familiars. This is wild. Wait, you summon stuff. You might you might be a good boy. Nope, he's dead. But now, he's dead. I'm looking I'm fishing for certain enemies here, realistically. Key? No! I need to get into that shop. Dude. You killed my holy dip! How dare you! There you go. I love the insta-kill there. There you go. There's a key. Oh, really? This is just more money. I've got enough money. That is clear. I have to stop taking dumb damage. My dumb damage is dumb. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, we got an arcade back there. Okay, I guess I could spend a bunch of money at the arcade, especially if we have a crane game. That would be, uh, 
the best option here. I killed him before I fired my heart at him. Oh, hello. Hello, big gal. Didn't really work out, but hey her. I don't know where you're gonna land. Okay. That's what you do, I see. I see. Don't kill me. <gasps> HP. Good stuff. Dark chocolate. Um it removes a heart on use, but if used twice, every New heart removed will give two on the next floor. That sounds pretty intriguing to me. I like the idea behind that. Right, what's what's this thing as well? Plus two broken hearts. Broken hearts can now be used to buy devil deals. Okay, so if I take this, and then I go boom and boom. Wow, such a tasty cocktail. This is interesting. So now I can get rid of my hearts in order to gain more on the next floor. Which, considering this character can have extra HP than normal, seems really good. That seems like a synergy to me. Okay. Okay. Let us keep this rolling. Keep this moving. I don't want any of this money yet, thank you. I will, however, pop that. Arcade. Let me spend all my Wonga. Damn you! I mean, this is good, but the rest, I was really hoping for a crane game or, I don't know, just something that would help me spend my money more. So, my, my plan here is to remove all of my HP. And I got electric dice, which is uh, pretty funny. Um, I'm not going to play you because you seem like an uh, utter and complete waste of time. So now things look don't, don't look great for us, but the potential. For next floor, we should get an absurd amount of red health. Like, uh, absolutely crazy amount of red health, right? I'm, I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see it. Right, let us get out of here. Let's skedaddle skadoodle. It's actually kind of good to find a battery bomb there, to be honest, so we could get as many charges as we could out of that. Although it didn't let us spend our money to the fullest, fullest extent that I wanted it to. I think overall it's pretty good. Still looking for BFF from the shop. That would be, uh, that'd be very, very nice to have. But let's see, so... What do we have? We had, a, what, four? No, five containers? Five or six containers before? I think it was five. Oh, baby! So I think I can get another... Wait, no. I'm confused. So if I go, if I just go to the, the page a minute, one second. If I go to the Steam page. Um, 50% more HP. 50% more HP. Oh, I think that only affects um, friendlies. Okay, it's still there. This, is, this has been good. We've, we've got a full extent uh, usage out of chocolate already. I think it's pretty goddamn good. Uh, let's keep this trainer rolling. But yeah, now Maggie's heart is uh Oh wait, can I can I charm you? Right. Hold up. Can I charm this little uh Dude, don't don't end the room. No. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to try and charm um charm the little dude there. Oh hello. I did manage to charm him. And apparently turn him into gold? Whoa, my mini dudes just annihilated him. Wait, that, that didn't end the room. He was dead. He was dead. Do I have golden hearts? What, what, what's going on here? I'm thoroughly confused. Right, I've got apparently wait for this guy to do his whole death animation. I didn't, for some reason, I didn't think I did, even though I played Isaac for long enough to know that, that, that I should have. Bag of blood. Burn heart is maybe a good idea here. Why not? Why the hell not? You're mine now. Can I... Take the death's heads. 
No. I didn't think I could, but I had to try. Also, this is good. Oh, dude, the amount of familiars we have right now is, is beautiful. I'm liking every minute of it. Stop pushing my bombs away! <gasps> my god! Dry Baby 2 Electric Boogaloo! Auto Gulp Trinkets for a price. I like that too. This is all going so well. Ooh, the, the mummies. Give me the mummies. Losing burn hearts on the regular. Ooh. I need that key. Really? That killed my little baby. That killed my little friend. We might as well grab the extra bombs as well, to be honest. My little Bernie dude just constantly firing at that swarm. It's really funny. He thinks he's got it in the bag. Dude, the amount of familiars this run is wild. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with the potential for a lot, lot more because of Siren's Call. And technically we have three in one with the coffin as well. There's, there's, there's a lot going on here. I'm liking it. It's another one, baby. Gimme. What is happening here? Give me this world card. I'm just going to pop it now. Honestly, the sack room play is not a bad play for us right now. Sack room play is not a bad play. One second. Right. Let's pop on through. Ow. I don't even know what hit me there. Hey, mini boss. How are you? The virus. The virus could be good. HP up! Yay! I was hoping it'd be a speed up, but HP up is just as good. Oh, I, there was a half red heart back there that I missed. No. I barely get the chance to, um, to charm anything now. It just dies. Okay, this is some good stuff here. If only my bombs would actually go off. Good. Whoa, so many hearts. Right, can you guys stop killing yourself on this, please? I mean, you guys keep dropping red hearts for me. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy about that. Redemption, baby! I have so many familiars to fight you with. You cannot step to my power. I have two little hushies. You cannot fa you cannot understand the power that I wield. My sack rooms are so busted with this setup. I just keep getting red hearts given to me. No, my boy. He's finally dead. Well, I've got this now. Not that I really needed it, but... Right. Away we go. Redemption. I, de I don't really remember what redemption does, to be honest. I'll be honest. Like... Redemption. Entering a new floor after visiting a devil dealer and not taking anything. Okay. I really wish that was reverted and changed to just be not pick up an item. Because when you go into a devil deal and there's black hearts or red chests, I think you should still be allowed to open them and it still count for redemption. <clears throat> It'd be nicer that way, at least. I have 1.65 damage. Living the high life. Give me that. Living the high life. 
Right, unfortunately, my uh, my boys are gone right now, so. This is not enough damage for this lane into the game. I need friends. Oh my god, I can't fire my goddamn thing correctly because I can't press the right buttons because I gotta walk and press it. Confuses my feeble brain. Right, you're mine now. You're mine now as well. You're mine now as well. I'm just taking all of them. They're all my own hostage. Oh, hello. It's Papa Plum. In fact, let's try and not kill him. Although, actually, is that even, even remotely possible? Probably not, right? Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm not doing anything and he's just passively getting destroyed. Loaf of bread. Oh, mini Isaacs. Hell yeah. You know I love Mini Isaacs. Okay. Cool. Now it's all about charming as many enemies as I possibly can to create an absolutely obscene army. Damn it, I wanted one of these guys, but there's no way I'm going to get one. Yeah, these guys don't really matter. Dude, what the hell? So many red hearts. Thank you. What up, sack room? You know how we do it. What the fuck? That's kind of useful. I like that. Well then. I have Spirit Sword now. That was unexpected. Which is not good with the amount of damage I have, really, but hey her. Is anyone ever going to make a mod that stops charmed enemies from shooting at me <laughs> when outside of combat? That would be a, a delightful mod to see, because it's so frustrating. Just make them inactive in rooms that, like, make their AI inactive in rooms that don't have combat. Like, that's, it, that seems like it wouldn't be, I mean, I, I don't want to say it seems like it wouldn't be that hard to make, because someone's definitely going to say do it yourself then, but I don't know how. But, just in theory, it doesn't sound like it like it would be that bad of a mod to make. It's just well annoying. Do that. Enemies have a chance to drop minions. That kind of goes alongside what we're doing at the minute. This, however, does not. How did that miss, really? There you go, give me you. And you. I'm gonna die just because I keep charming things and I'm losing HP slowly but surely, but... I don't know. I'm enjoying it. Give me that red heart. That's two more charmed enemies right there. I like the fact that my um, my charmed familiars are breaking my uh, what's it called the they're breaking my I can't remember the name of them now coffins. It's actually, it's actually really useful. Oh, there's so many hearts there. I missed them all. As much as I do want them to stop shooting me, it's nice that there's some benefit to it. Something I can get out of it. Give me that shoe. What you got for me? Dude, the shops are so evil, man. Wow. 
got so much money and they give me two different greed shops. How dare you? Okay. Boss time. Probably gonna insta kill all my little friends and leave me destitute on the womb. God damn. Ow. It's okay, we mostly survived. Honestly, I have to take Dark Path because I need damage so bad. <laughs> Literally that it's it's a sad day when the negative doubles your damage. <laughs> it's a sad, sad day. Wait, these guys summon things, don't they? Yes they do. Yeah, I got them. Anything that summons stuff is a uh, hot commodity. My brain's staying alive a while though, which is nice. I don't know if I'm gonna live very long now. I guess we'll see. Really, that heart missed everything. Look at all the different variety of mini Isaacs I have just chilling. You guys good? You guys got this? Indeed you do. Indeed you do. Okay. Keep trying to find the right way. Some of these rooms, enemies are not worth charming. These guys seem pretty good. I'm going to take another one of them. Give me that. Give me that. Yeah, but basically, because anything that summons enemies is summoning stuff that can die, and things that can die have a chance to drop us half red hearts, which are keeping us alive, so... We're, we're, we're making a sustainable run, is what we're doing. We're making a sustainable run. And I'm enjoying it. I do, I do as well want to, um, I think something that could add some more enjoyment back into Isaac for me is I do want to introduce uh, like a streaking series of just, I know that they're not as popular on YouTube and it also makes them hard as a thumbnail, but I do think it'd be nice to have a series where we just try and go for like a high streak as Eden or something. Um, I, I think that could be, uh, that could be something that's like enjoyable for a lot of people and me. How did that miss? It's fine. I accept my fit. I managed to charm the heart, yay. There's so much going on. You see how these things like shoot out their little tentacles and die. I, I think actually if I just sit in an empty room, I can just farm HP. Yeah, I, I literally can, so technically I can't die. In fact, I, I basically have like an unlimited charm station here. I come in, I charm the enemies I want to charm, and then I just sit, get my HP back. But the boss is probably going to kill a lot of these fellas, which is slightly annoying. Three dollar bill? Hell yes. Oh, hello. I charmed them all. I charmed them all. Go forth and kill each other. Charms for quite a while, actually. Right. Let me regain my health here from all of these little tentacle things. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god, is that more damage? Holy hell, that damage has, uh, has gone crazy. This is the thing about, like, characters like this, that if you mix them with, like, Fiend Folio, things get kind of wacky. A 
Eternal Heart that will not be sticking around for very long. <laughs> I charmed so many of them there. I don't even know what to say about all this. That didn't even charm that enemy, I don't know what happened there. Hey, I'm liking these things. I can buy stuff over these, I'm liking these. Another familiar, yay. Beelzebub, let's regain our health in this next room. Let's chill near all the nubbins. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Hey, back to full. We got a plum from that? What the hell? Okay. Oh, I lost a lot of HP here. Let me just hold on a little bit. I have flight now, yay! Okay, that makes things easier. I actually like the fact as well that, like, charming enemies is insta-killing them too. It's like insta-clearing the room for us. So it's practical. Unfortunately, this is where this, this plan kind of goes to shit. If, uh, mum kills my friends. But she, she only managed to kill one, I think. I think we're still good, for the most part. It looks like we are right down, remember? Okay. Sheol. Let's go. No, explosive enemies are not okay for us right now. Okay, we've, we've kept one of our guys. We've just got a brimstone friend, that's nice. Hey, I got you as well. You're going to be interesting to have. There's a good room to get some health back in. I'm just kind of sit in this little corner and let things happen. Barely know what's going on anymore. All I know is that I'm producing half red hearts on occasion. Wait, is this room apparently not finished? What, what's... how? Am I stuck in here? How is there something not dead in here? I'm gonna bomb my way out, because... I think it's because the chain's still attached on that guy. Ah... Uh, wait, no! I... I charmed you, why didn't you charm? There you go. I don't want you brimstoning my boys. How many of you did you kill with that brimstone? I think you killed one of my best boys. You killed my health guy. I don't like that. Yeah, he killed my health generator guy, which is uh, not what I was looking for. Technically, I could charm, like, if there's like three enemies in a room, I've got like one really good one. I could charm, bomb out, then go back in, charm it again, and just get like more and more of them. How am I not hitting this? Okay. Keep it going, keep it going. Can I actually get one of those? No. Damn game. Okay, I've managed to lose a lot of my friends here. So this is uh, this is falling apart a little bit right before the boss.
Bomb it. No, what the hell? Why did my bomb move so far then? Obviously that was not my plan. Spirit Assault is making this a little harder than it has to be as well. Ooh, health, 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 health. Don't really know what's going on here. I have a ton of mini Isaacs though. That's 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 rather nice. Hey, we got it. Yeah, this is this has been a bit a bit weird towards the end. Fiend Folio has made this uh, character showcase a little bit different. Hellfire, yes please. Hungry Soul, yes please. You know what, I'll take that too. And you know what, why not? Seem like really good enemies to charm if I can hit them. There you go, I got him. Oh no, I just realized I'm on half a heart now. Mm, I shouldn't have been doing that. I see a half heart. Okay, I managed to grab it. I didn't realize the boss still was still alive in here. I was not paying attention to that at all. No, I died. Okay, well that got messy towards the end, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.